You never meant to mean so much to me. Hiya, I'm Stephanie from Georgia Wonder. Um, I'm here today to show you and tell you all about the uh, new project that we're doing. We are in fact at Nevada Music Store in Portsmouth. Um, basically they were very kind and said yes to our idea of recording our next album here. Uh, today we're recording the first track on the album which is No Credit. Um, as you can see there are about a million guitars here which is why we decided to come here. There are drums through there. There are pianos over there, there's synthesizers, there's absolutely everything you could need. So basically this little video is going to tell you about how we did it. And for that I will pass you over to Julian Moore, who is the musician in our band. I'll see you later. Uh, the song No Credit uh, features piano all the way through, and um, for that we used the Roland V piano, which is this kind of flagship piano that they've designed. It's, um, it doesn't use kind of samples, it uses their own kind of synthesis. The nearest thing I can think of is FM synthesis, but uh, it's kind of quite nerdy. I don't know what's going on. All it does is basically do piano sounds. It doesn't seem to do anything else, but it does these piano sounds really, really well. You get, um, not you don't get a laptop with it, but you can plug it into a laptop and it allows you to change the settings on it without having to fiddle around on the front. So you can like change the dampening on the, on the strings, you can change the way the foot pedals work, and for no credit, we used patch number 15, which is called All Silver. And for some reason, it was quite a good poppy piano sound. Uh, some of the other ones seemed a bit too dull. Um, but it's got great action and great keyboards. I actually had played some of the piano somewhere else. But when I started playing this keyboard, it made me want to redo the whole lot. So I played the whole thing back in the shop. And you can hear it on the song. So for the bass on no credit, uh, I was using this actually quite lovely Music Man Stingray Honeyburst guitar. Um, which was perfect. Um, I went through a whole bunch of guitars and this seemed to have a r really good sort of high end which uh, seemed to work. So um, that was it really. It was very simple. Um, I went straight into a Cube Roland bass amp, um, played it a couple of takes and it was down. It's a very simple part. It's only a ballad. Um, but this, was, this is really kind of good for these kind of ballady things. So um, yeah, I love it. One of the other acoustics I'm playing on the choruses, especially of the song No Credit, is this Taylor 110 CE electroacoustic, uh, which is rather nice. It's got um, quite a nice mid range, which is quite nice for picking, um, and it's quite good for the strummy parts and some of the other picking I was doing in tandem with. And one of the other guitars I'm using is this 12 string Takamini EG345C, very snappy name, it's a lovely guitar, 12 string thingy, and you can hear me doing kind of this. Sounds a bit out of tune because I've just lifted it off the shop floor, but I'm doing that in the chorus, uh, as you can hear on the track, and I've doubled it up with the synths on the Roland V synth. Uh, on some other parts of the song, I'm using this uh, Les Paul Custom Cherry Sunburst Gibson. Um, Quite good on the choruses and I'm playing that part through the sort of bridge part. So I've got that doubled up with some acoustics, which is quite nice. And on the chorus, they be doing some stuff like that. Um, quite a nice tone, great sustain, uh, really helped make those parts great. Okay, on uh, some of the middle eight and some of the choruses, I'm using this Gretsch. White Falcon, which is rather a lovely guitar. Um, it's got a great sustain, great for kind of those big, open, picky, strummy things. So that's really good. On those kind of parts, I've played this strummy thing to lead into the middle eight and on every other chord. So that's been quite fun. Lovely guitar to play. I only used it for a bit of the song, but it was worth it. Yeah, on the uh, choruses of No Credit, I'm doubling up the guitars, which I'm playing on uh, a Gibson and on some 12 strings, with uh, synth sound of this Roland B synth GT. Um, doubling up synths um, onto guitar sounds can really help make uh, the guitars more three dimensional, more go around your head. And I've got this kind of spacey sound. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm using to double up uh, the, the guitar stuff and it just makes the chorus um, a lot bigger and um, it sounds quite nice actually. You made me think that we could have 